All right, we are here at the Yellowstone National Park. We have the sign here, the Roosevelt Arch in the background, and we are about to enter for the very first time. Maddie, what are your top three things that you're looking forward to in this Yellowstone trip? Number one is wildlife. Wildlife? 100%. Definitely seeing Old Faithful, Grand Prismatic, and the nature and the mountains and the waterfalls. Yeah. That's, That's a good my top those, are, those are good. For me, it's going to be just. First off, crossing into the national park, I just, I don't know, it's exciting, it's awesome. Uh, number two is gonna be, I'm excited to see the stars when it becomes nighttime, that's a, a big one for me. And then the third one is, I would love to see a grizzly bear. I've, yeah, I know, I know, but, and outside the car, hopefully seeing a grizzly bear walking around, uh, that'd be really cool as long as we were keeping our distance, you know, uh, doing what we're supposed to do. So, we're here, about to go in, our very first time. The reason it's named Roosevelt is because after Teddy Roosevelt, and it was the original Gates to Yellowstone. The original Gates to Yellowstone. It's a fun fact. They're going through a little wind tunnel right there. Our first stop was the Mammoth Hot Springs District, which is just a few miles south of the North Gate. Not only is this area famous for its unique hot springs, but it's also home to Fort Yellowstone, an army post that was built in the late 1800s and early 1900s. At its height, Fort Yellowstone hosted about 324 soldiers who were stationed here to protect the park from poachers, souvenir hunters, and those looking to develop the land in its early days. And although Fort Yellowstone is no longer an active army post, it is recognized as a National Historic Landmark District, giving visitors a glimpse at the park's history. As we made it to the lower terrace, we got a great view of our first geothermal area in the park, the Mammoth Hot Springs. Taking in this kind of view for the very first time really blew us both away because we weren't just seeing pools of hot water, we were seeing colorful and uniquely shaped landscapes that were so different from the rolling hills and surrounding forests. And we actually had no idea what this strange looking rock tower was, but after doing some research, we found out that it's an inactive spring called Liberty Cap that was named in 1871. Walking up and around the terrace was a ton of fun because you got to see all the springs from different angles and of course, the higher up we got, the more we got to see Yellowstone. It was a bit exhausting, but it was totally worth the hike. One of the questions that we kept having while seeing some of the different springs was why some of them were more colorful, giving them that orange and yellow color, and why some of them were bleach white. We came to find out that the colorful ones are full of heat-loving microorganisms called thermophiles that are bunched up together within them. On the other hand, the bleach white color comes from the limestone that's present in the area. As the water that is heated by the volcanic activity below rises to the surface, it's dissolving a lot of that limestone. And when it hits the surface, it starts to deposit it back in a chalky white form called travertine. All right, so Mammoth Springs, what'd you think? Incredible. Incredible, lots of uh, hiking up elevation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lots I just of... realized I'm not in shape and this is going to be a good prediction of how our trip's going to go. But this is an incredible uh, hot spring as a result of the uh, volcanic activity beneath the surface. Just really awesome. It's beautiful. So many cool little springs that you go travel from um, spot to spot. So yeah. Got ourselves a few elk hanging out over here near Mammoth Springs. So cool. We are here still in Mammoth Hot Springs and we're about to leave, but we wanted to say one quick thing that this is the first visitor center in Yellowstone. Not only are you getting these, you know, historic landscapes and such wildlife, but you're getting these historic buildings. So part of the park's history. And right over here is Mammoth Springs. And next stop, Lamar Valley. As we set out for Lamar Valley, we found that there were many stops along the way to get out and explore. These stops became some of our favorite experiences as they typically weren't too crowded and didn't require too much time and energy to walk around. We got to see waterfalls, incredible overlooks, our first and only bighorn sheep, which was unfortunately too far away to catch on the GoPro, and we even got a chance to hike down to the Yellowstone River where there was only one other group of people. The drive there really felt like a road trip where Lamar Valley was the destination but all the spontaneous stops along the way really kept the adventure going throughout. So if you're planning a trip to Yellowstone, we recommend giving yourself enough time to get out and explore without feeling like you're in a rush. So, I will say, oh, we saw a little ground squirrel. 
Today, I've definitely seen, and this is our first day, not even full day. I don't even know how to describe it. So Some much of the wildlife. Most, a lot of wildlife, no, but I'm talking about the views. True. It is the most beautiful landscape terrain I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, from the waterfalls to the geothermal activity. Yes, um, that is really cool. And you know, all the hikes that we've been doing just down and up, a lot of elevation, the rolling hills. It, it truly is, like she said, it's just, it's amazing. Tower Falls, totally worth it. But the way up, how was the way up? Treacherous. Our first bison. Seeing our first bison felt like the Yellowstone Rite of Passage. The low valley with the rolling hills and forest in the background seemed like the perfect place to see wildlife, and it definitely was. We were seeing large herds of bison and pronghorn antelope all over, which is why Lamar Valley is nicknamed the American Serengeti. This was also the most wild the park had felt. Instead of stops with parking lots and overlooks, there were small gravel pull-offs where cars could stop to observe wildlife and take in the stunning views. The entire time we were in Lamar Valley, we were scanning for all sorts of species and playing movie scores from Jurassic Park and Lord of the Rings. And on our way back out, we finally got to see one of the animals we had wanted to see the most. Go, get out now. I see it. I see it. Get the binoculars. Got a bear. Oh, got a bear sighting. All right, we got our first bear sighting. It's a brown bear. Just went around. The bend. Mandy's got the binoculars right now. See if we can see if we can get it back out there. We just were pulling up as it was walking away, and then we drove past the bridge to get a different angle, and we caught a glimpse of it. And uh, wow. we're waiting to see if he'll pop back up. We saw a grizzly bear. Insane. We did. We did, did see a grizzly bear. Very cool. Our first one on day one. Hopefully more to come, but uh, a good start for sure. Oh All right, Maddie, what do we got? We got a, it's brown, but it might be a black bear with two cubs. Thanks to the people who were already here checking her out. Um, we were able to get a glimpse and she's all the way back there. Not going to be able to see on the GoPro, but beautiful animal. Ending our first day in Yellowstone. We had a great time. What'd you think, Maddie? It exceeded my expectations. I had no idea it was going to be this incredible and I am obsessed. Yeah, it, it really is a beautiful, beautiful national park. When we capped off our day, we were looking for bears the whole day. We saw a grizzly bear running away just very briefly, good little glimpse of it. And then we saw a mom with two cubs, mother grizzly with two cubs, and it was a big grizzly. Yeah, it was at um, at Lamar Valley at around dusk time, so it was truly beautiful. It's been a long day. We are zonked, but it's totally worth it. Just a really great day. Uh, yeah, we're both pretty tired, so tomorrow we're going to start early, early morning at Hayden Valley. Hayden Valley or Lamar Valley, we're going to do one of the two, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow. The drive out of the park on day one was one of our favorite moments of the trip. Everything was calm, the view was stunning, and the rush of the day was over. And though we did see some more wildlife, it was no longer about stopping the car and getting the binoculars out, it was just about enjoying the moment. So if you ever plan on traveling to Yellowstone, Make sure you don't miss the sunset. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We'll see you next week with day two of Yellowstone.